Plenty to talk about here tonight. Let's discuss it with uh, political analyst and author Adrian Selbucci. He's on the line from Buenos Aires. Adrian, always good to have you on the program. Good to see you tonight. Thanks. Qatar. Let's talk about Qatar's reaction, first of all. It's blasted the Security Council as immoral, saying the UN effort to stop the violence has only got a 3% chance of success. Why are they being so negative? Well, probably because they would have liked to see a, a more direct intervention on the part of the UN. I think that many of the countries in the region who are client states of the Americans and the British, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates and, and others, would have liked to see outright invasion or outright attack. They would have right, liked to see a rerun of Resolution 1973 used against Libya, which all but destroyed Libya and now has plunged it into civil war. So no doubt there are many who would have liked to see this extreme violence being legally uh, approved by the UN, but thanks to Russia and thanks to China that have vetoed the various attempts, we now have something which is much more balanced, much more fair, and much more likely to give positive results Results, giving peace a real chance in Syria. And let's talk about the observers now, what they're actually going to see. The UN says the, the government must allow observers access to monitor the ceasefire. Then we're hearing the government saying today um, they need to be accompanied to guarantee their safety. What's the real picture going to be? What are they really going to see then? And are they doubting Assad's commitment, well, do you think? Yeah, it's, it's going to be very difficult because I think what we are not, we are ignoring, or at least uh, the Western powers and the Western media in general are ignoring, is the fact that there is an insurrection inside Syria, very similar to the insurrections we've seen in Egypt, we've seen in Libya, we've seen in many countries throughout the region, which are obviously reflect genuine grievances of all the peoples in the, in the area, no doubt also in Syria, as there are genuine grievances in just about every country in the world, but with foreign intervention bent on creating civil war in Syria. When uh, uh, Foreign Minister, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov asked Hillary Clinton in February, what's the end game? Hillary Clinton snapped back saying, it's going to be civil war. And we now have the United States openly admitting and proposing that the rebels, the so-called freedom fighters, the insurrection in Syria, be financed, trained, and armed. Now, that is a very good example of state-sponsored terrorism on behalf of the, uh, from the, on the part of the United States and Britain who want to finance rebel groups, insurrection guerrilla groups inside a foreign country, Syria in this case, and this is practically official policy as proposed by Senators John McCain, Joe Lieberman, Lindsey Graham, John Kyle, uh, John Heaven, and also, well, it, also blessed by APAC, who have a, a very large uh, vested interest in seeing Syria really be plunged into a bloody civil war. We've only got 30 seconds, Adrian. Despite all this grim news and everything you're outlining there, let's try and look at one or two positives. Um, Russia's been doing an awful lot to try and keep the talking going throughout all this. The opposition delegation has been in Moscow again today, described the talks as very positive. Are we seeing some genuine efforts on the rebels' part to end the bloodshed? I don't think so. I think that the rebels have now realized that their chances and their, uh, their op options are much more limited, so they're going to have to act accordingly. As I say, Russia has brought in a very important balance into this whole formula, much to the aggravation of the United States, Britain, Israel, and other countries. So the rebels are just going to have to adapt because they are mere puppets of the Western powers in trying to destroy Syria. Adrian Salbucci, take care. Good to see you. Thank you very much for being on the program. Thanks.